Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine and today's episode is a weekly update from the world of data science. Everything from new launches, latest research, cyber threats and events that have happened in the past 7 days will be covered here. So let's get started. As always, starting with the launches, WhatsApp launches payments starting in Brazil. After months of talks and trials, WhatsApp has finally pulled the trigger on payments. Users in Brazil will be able to send and receive money through the messaging app using Facebook Pay. WhatsApp says that the payment service is currently free for consumers to use, but comes with a 3.99% processing fee for businesses receiving payments. Coming to the next launch, Basecamp launches Hey, a hosted email service for people who like to be neat. Hey is aimed at the traditional chaos and clutter of the email inbox. It includes a built-in screener that asks users to confirm whether or not they want to receive an email from a new address. Inbound emails a Hey user has consented to are then triaged into different trays, with a central inbox containing only the important messages, while newsletters are invented to live in a news feed style tray called the feed. And email recipes are stacked in a for reference paper trial inbox view. Moving on, Google brings Meet to Gmail on mobile. Google today announced a deeper integration between Gmail on mobile and its Meet video conferencing service. Now, if you use Gmail on Android or iOS and somebody sends you a link to a Meet event, you can join the meeting right from your inbox. The major difference being that you won't have to install the dedicated Meet app anymore to join a call from Gmail. Moving on, Quantum Machines announces QUA, its universal language for quantum computing. It's a busy week in the world of quantum computing, and today Tel Aviv's based Quantum Machines, a startup that is building a software and hardware stack for controlling and operating quantum computers, announced the launch of QUA a new language that it calls the first standard universal language for quantum computers. Coming to some news related to COVID-19, Microsoft employs experimental undersea data center in search of COVID-19 vaccine. Part of the challenge in seeking out an effective treatment for COVID-19 is simply one of scale. Protein folding is key to understanding how the virus that causes COVID-19 attaches to health cells in order to infect them. Microsoft is testing pre-packed shipping container-sized data centers that can be spun up on demand and run deep under the ocean surface for sustainable, high efficiency and cool operation to contribute to such big efforts in a big way. And it's now using one in Scotland to model viral proteins that lead to COVID-19. Moving on, Google's latest experiment is Keen, an automated machine learning based version of Pinterest. A new project called Keen from Google's in-house incubator for new ideas Area 120 to help users track their interests. The app is like a modern rethinking of the Google Alert service which allows users to monitor the web for specific content. Except instead of sending emails about new Google search results, Keen leverages a combination of machine learning techniques and human collaboration to help users curate content around a topic. Coming to the final update. Mapillary, the crowdsourced database of street-level imagery, has now been acquired by Facebook. Mapillary is a Swedish startup that wants to take on Google and others in mapping the world. The team and project will become part of Facebook's broader open mapping efforts. Facebook is known to be building tools and technology to improve maps through a combination of machine learning, satellite imagery and partnerships with mapping communities. With that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science. See you soon. Bye.